Okay, in one of my other videos, I talked about using the boring jig in a horizontal configuration. So that's what I got it set up here to do. I, it's not quite set up, but I just wanted to go through the setup before I uh, get everything zeroed in here and show you exactly what I'm doing. So I, uh, I had the jig um, outfitted with a chuck with a 3 8 uh, bit in it to drill uh, some spindle holes in a crest rail. And what I've come up with is this fixture here. Now, um, this is not very pretty. It's something I just threw together. But uh, the primary thing it has going for it, it has a center line here. It's got two of these clamps to uh, secure the crest rail in it. It's got this center line drawn. And it has this um, two inch block. And that two inch block fits between uh, the runners here. So, we know that this center line is true. Now, this is a crest rail that I uh, bent that, uh, as you can see here, did not quite make it, it delaminated. So I've used this for a number of experiments. Um, here's a crest uh, a spindle hole that I uh, drilled earlier. And normally, um, when you're uh, marking out the, um, the spindle holes on a crest rail, you have this up, you have your spindles in the seat, and you flare them out to where each uh, where each spindle needs to enter in and you mark that angle there. So that's kind of the angle I marked there. So what you would do is simply, and what I've done is I've take that angle mark and extended it on each side, the top of the crest rail and the bottom of the crest rail. So then it's simple to, to line uh, the, uh, the bottom up with the center line and then line the top up with the center line, and then once you get this clamped into place, um, it is, uh, and when you drill, you're gonna drill following that uh, angle that you marked on the back of your crest rail. Now, this is good for, uh, you know, when you want that spindle hole to be perfectly parallel with the back of your crest rail. So let me um, demonstrate this in live action here. Let me get this uh, set up, put the jig in, and get everything clamped in place and I'll show you how that how that goes okay we're all set up um, ready to drill so I I went ahead and I leveled this I, I don't know if you can see it but we're at triple zeros across there so we're exactly level with the top of this fixture that's what I zeroed it out on and I have my um, crest rail mounted in here so again I want to bring bring the drill bit up to full speed and then plunge horizontally till uh, we reach the tape. And just like that, you've drilled a spindle hole for your crest rail with this 3 8 inch bit with the chuck mounted to the extension. Now, uh, how fiddly was this to set up to get this perfectly level? Yeah, it took, I don't know, a couple of minutes, really, and, I'm, and I'm, by a couple, I mean two minutes. It really didn't take that long to get that set up. Uh, but once you do get it set up, uh, you're perfectly in line to drill out all the holes in your crest rail for the spindles. So I hope this helps, and I hope you see a, another alternative to uh, using this jig and uh, some of the flexibility and uh, configurability of it. So thanks again for watching.